In this video, uh, we will derive the input impedance for the amplifier with feedback. Okay, this is the basic amplifier, output voltage V0, feedback network with beta and your Vf is equal to beta times of V0, it is going back to the input. For any amplifier, it is required that the input impedance should be high. By providing this uh, voltage series negative feedback, we can increase the input impedance. Uh, impedance is represented by Zi. Input impedance Zi for the basic amplifier is given by Vi divided by Ii. And the input impedance with feedback is given by Vs divided by Ii. Vs is the supply voltage. So let us derive now. Uh, for any negative feedback, the input voltage Vi is equal to Vs minus Vf. The supply voltage minus the feedback voltage. So, for Vf, again let us substitute it as beta times of V0. Why? Because your Vf is nothing but equal to beta times of V0 in this feedback network here. So, we have substituted here. And again for V0, we will substitute it as AVI. See, your V0 is nothing but equal to A into VI, substitute it here. So, you got two terms in VI. We will group it together. So, your supply voltage Vs is equal to VI plus A beta VI. Take out VI common. You get Vs as Vi into 1 plus A beta. This value of Vs let us substitute back in Zif. So when you substitute back in Zif, we get Zif that is the input impedance with feedback is equal to Vi into 1 plus A beta by Ii. Now this Vi by Ii, this is nothing but equal to Zi, input impedance without feedback. So we got Zif is equal to Zi into 1 plus A beta. So, the input impedance with feedback will increase by an amount of 1 plus A beta.